everyone. Welcome to Rika's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read an interesting book. Do you ever imagine what will happen if Sunday quit? Enjoy. A new day, written by Brad Meltzer, illustrated by Dan Santet. Sunday quit, just like that. She said she was tired of being a day. Do you know how much work it takes to give the world a beautiful free day, to play, to pray, to sleep away, or even just to sway in a hammock while eating raspberry sorbet? And then I do it all over again, week after week, year after year, with no pay, with no pay. Nice rhyme, safe. Everyone gets time for their own fun, or to catch a matinee, but no one says, "How are you?" or even, "You okay?" The other days were aghast. No day had quit, not since Mars Day, but that was so so long ago. I want to learn how to water ski, and weld, and bake the perfect sourdough. I want to take a car apart to see how it works, and learn Italian, no Sanskrit, like the Buddhists, and master the sugar arts. The sugar arts, I think that means candy. But what will we do now? We can't just lose a day. Everyone, be quiet! Monday declared, since Monday loved declaring things. There's only one thing to do. We need to find a new day. Across the land, posters were put up with those little tabs you can pull off at the bottom. Wanted, a new day, must be relaxing, tranquil, chill, though not as chill as Saturday. Healing, blessed, replenishing, quiet, committed, and most important, must be able to give people good dreams and get along with others. Serious inquiries only. Ooh, teeny pull tabs. Tryouts began the next day. The first prospects were interesting. New day auditions. Please state your name and anything else you'd like the committee to know. I'm Fun Day, where every day is fun. Next. I'm Run Day. Every day we run, speed, zoom. Next, I'm Bun Day. Everyone's here. Buns, get it? I kind of like Bun Day. I'm just glad it's not the other buns. Some ideas were good. We'll call it Dog Day. Puppies, dogs. Everyone gets one. Did I mention the puppies? Yeah, dude. I vote yes. Puppies for everyone. Puppies would make the week go quicker. Everyone, relax. There's still lots more days to see. Out of my way. We're next. Sorry, cat. The job's filled. Here's the pitch. Shoe cats lurk, knowing they are far superior to dogs. We call it. Catterday. Some ideas were bad. I call it Worst Vice President's Day. I'm Elbridge Gary. Next, Shark Day. Too scary. Also, it needs a week. Next, we call it Big Burp Day. Burp. Try it. You'll love it. Burp. Next. And some days were surprisingly amazing, like the day where everyone gets superpowers. We call it Superhero Day, Cape Day, Fly Day. It sounds so much better when you call it Fly Day, dude. We need more ideas like this. Agreed. I'll post it online. At that moment, K 
casual Friday had no idea what he'd unleashed. As word about the tryouts began to spread, everyone had their own idea for the very best new day. There was Pie Day, and you get to choose: blueberry pie, pecan pie, apple pie, rhubarb, pumpkin, banana cream, key lime, chicken pot pie if it's cold out, or even boysenberry. I do love boysenberry. Llama Day, you carry tons of stuff and spit all over, but we get great eyelashes. Two, nice eyelashes. Band Aid Day, safety first. I do love band aids. And on the seventh day, we declare it Acrobatter Day. Ta da! And of course. One of the most popular of all, candy. This is not a helpful idea. Ah, candy, can, day. I play on words. I approve. Catterday will be an easy sell after this. In no time, the competition grew so intense. Some of the contestants snuck back in front of the judges. Have we seen you before? Nope, definitely not. Allow us to present Dogs Who Love Frogs Day. They're so cute and squishy. I have to say, I admire teamwork. Oh come on, those are the same dogs as before, but with mustaches. This isn't fair. When do we get to pitch Catterday? Catterday is coming. The cats were right about it being unfair, but as word began to spread that teamwork was a good thing, it brought together all sorts of combinations, like fire poles sliding into pools of cotton candy day. Poof! Mmm, sugary boogery. Poof! This must have been made by a master of the sugar arts. Sure, some days caused a bit of craziness, like when unicorns with flashlights for Horns Day met up with unicorns with horns for Horns Day. Horns, flashlights, horns, flashlights. Other days were just impractical, like snowmen in a blizzard eating marshmallows day. Cat Day is coming. We love cats. And still, others were for too small of a niche audience. Hatter Day, but just nineteen twenties ones. Caps for sale. Gelatin Suits Day, and some of us have robots in them, because you know robots. Watch the way my ears wiggle. Knights whose swords are herrings day. Herrings, swordfish swords would have been funnier. My dog smells like corn chips day. That's the same dog. He's just eating corn chips. The madness got even worse when Jazz Day and Naked Mole Ratter Day mixed with Batter Day, giving us Naked Mole Rat Batter Day Skiddly Scat Diddly Dat Batter Day, which was actually pretty absurd since Batter Day got mentioned twice. I'm Batman. Don't say it. We'll get sued. Stop! 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 Doesn't anyone have a good day? I do. Let me guess. You plant cabbage and want cabbage day, or eggplants and want eggplant day, or or or. Oh, I got it. Bok choy day. No, I simply like growing seeds in pots. And I grew this one for all of you to say thanks. Did you just say thank you? Yes, Miss Sunday. And the day I'd suggest is simply a nice day, a day when people can show more kindness to each other. Sunday would never forget that moment.
She never forget how the little girl made her feel, and she never forget the most important lesson of all: that with a little more kindness in it, every day can be a new day. So you're not tired anymore. Not anymore. Thanks to you. Thank you for saying thank you. I really needed it. For every week after that, Sunday got more time to play and get away. Indeed, all the days joined in and spent some time water skiing, and welding, and baking the perfect sourdough. They took a car apart to see how it works. They learned Sanskrit like the Buddhists, and of course, mastered the sugar arts. And the next day, he did Monday's favorite things, like filing and alphabetizing. It was a lesson for every day. When you appreciate each other a little bit more, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yes, definitely Sunday, can be brand new days where everything is possible. I must say, this is good raspberry sorbet. Like how you brought Brian back, by the way. Not passing a cliche. No way, Broadway. We call it Catterday. Wait, guys, anyone? Where'd everybody go? The end. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. I hope you loved it. Please hit the subscribe button and have a wonderful day.